What's up you guys? I'm very excited to share listing this pair of Nike Vapor Maxes with you. Nike Vapor Max is a hot shoe on the Nike market right now. So I'm hoping they're gonna sell fast. Let's get right into the list. I'm about a year strong. A whole getting year. this paid long. I won't stop now. Can't stop, won't stop. I'ma go long. For anybody that's watching this for the first time, I like to get my first shot something like this. This wooden container that they're on is used for a, a, you know, this was for a shoe shiner. I picked it up from the Goodwill for about eight bucks and I've just been using it as a prop. And I have some of my shoe cleaning supplies in there. It came with some brushes like this. So keep an eye out for stuff like this that you could pick up at a secondhand rate price that will help your business. Like, this glass was free. This is a tablecloth from the 99 cent store. And that's like a student project whiteboard that I picked up from Target. All right, so here comes a screen share. Let's get right into the listing, you guys. All right, so I'm looking up the comps and this is the only pre-owned comp on the market right now in this exact model. There are some similar ones there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and hit the sold right here. And then I have six, which you could see, oops. So I have six, which you could see here. And these are the prices that they are selling for pre-owned. The ones that I have are size eight. Now I wanna figure out which one do I wanna to use to sell one like this. Always stay away from any one that has all caps if you can because what I hear from Riley Roots is that that deranks your listing which means you come up lower in the organic search if you have all caps and it's also not SEO friendly Google doesn't like all caps so none of these have all caps so now I'm just gonna look at the quality so this one stands out with the all white background but the thing that doesn't stand out about it is that they put it up for bidding so I'm not gonna use that one and it's crazy because actually that bidding one that same pair of shoes that was up for bidding went up for bidding twice so be careful with bidding. You can see here, this is the exact same listing. And so for this one on the uh, 22nd, I'm guessing somebody didn't pay for it. And then it was relisted here on resold again on the 1st of September. So I've made my choice and it's going to be this one here. They were all pretty good listings. So I just went with that one only because it, it sold for a good dollar amount. And on top of that, it's in the same size, I believe, right? It was a size eight. Oh no, eight and a half. So I just have to adjust that when the size eight. No, it did say size eight. Okay, yeah. So let's get my photos in there. I didn't do my collage already. Ew, this one looks oversaturated with white. Hmm, I could definitely use a couple more photos. So let me get some photos of the insides of the shoe. Bam. 
So you're actually watching me take photos of this live right now. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the like button if you like this type of content. If you want to see more screen share videos like this, let me know down below in the comments that this is working and that you guys are learning a lot and that I should do more videos like this showing you guys details on screen in app. Bam. Bam. All right. Okay, right here is how I make my collages. There's no extra app or special app that I'm using. No, nothing special. It's just the regular gallery on my Android phone where all of my pictures are saved. It's built into the app. I just go there and put collage. I like to give the customers two points of view, usually a little bit of the front and a little bit of the back. I feel like it helps the ad stand out. And so far, I feel like my sales have been good enough and this is working. So if anybody wants to take this and use it for yourself, feel free. Just make sure you hit the like button. So right now, while I finish that up and go ahead and upload those new pictures, I wanted to let you guys know that I always use the camera on my phone to take pictures and then upload them to eBay versus using the camera through the eBay app. The camera through the eBay app is not going to work as good as the camera on your phone because the camera on your phone has built in technology for lighting, autofocus and all this stuff. And the eBay app camera software might not be as compatible. So now I'm going to rearrange the order of my photos, trying to make the most attractive pictures first and the least attractive pictures last. I think showing the best pictures first will keep people on your listing longer and overall convert more customers. All right, looks good. Like you Air Vapor Max Fly Knit Black Oreo. Women's size 8, air bubble. Yes, she size man's. That is not right. So for me, and I would assume for most people, filling in all these details is the most tedious and time consuming part of listing an item and I just want to say that for shoes and clothing there are tons of details that eBay wants you to put in because it's such a big market of people out there and so many clothes and stuff it helps customers find exactly what they're looking for a lot faster so in other categories like maybe electronics like maybe posting a remote that you got for a dollar and selling for 20 to 30 it's literally like one to two tenths of the time that it takes to post a pair of shoes and that is mainly just because you really only need to do share one like this and then go on ahead and take the pictures and there's usually all the details you need in the listing are already there from the previous ad there's usually nothing to edit and it's really really quick and that's why some people that sell in this category are able to list 30 to 40 to 50 items per I per hour. But in a category like shoes and clothing, it's more like 5 to 10 an hour. But sometimes you can get really, really good margins on these items. So don't sleep on them. All right, so beside, aside from eBay wanting a crap load of details, these are ready to post. Upper material, like I really don't know what material this is. I mean, if it's not on the shoe, I'm not about to make it up. 
So they must be expecting me to like go Google it or something to figure it out. But it's already takes like time consuming enough to post shoes. So I accepted eBay's recommended price, but I only paid 15 bucks. So I'm going to put offers in and accept a good offer that comes through. Let me pop these on the scale real quick. I've been moving stuff around. There's my scale. So eight ounces. So these are literally one pound, but with a box and everything, it's still going to be two pounds. Final look over. Why did they do this when there was more than enough space to fully spell it out? All right, wish me luck I'm just gonna put on free returns for this something of this value and go ahead and list it all right you guys I hope you learned a lot from that hit the like button and subscribe so if you're still watching I really appreciate you I'm pretty sure you're gonna kill eBay because I guarantee you most people watch 30% of the video it has nothing to do with me or the video that's just how it is People are just skimming through stuff on YouTube. But the people that watch the video all the way through are just like me when I first started. And you guys hang in there. I promise you, it just gets easier and easier. You're going to learn more and more and more and get better and better at this. So if you want, I have here playing at high speed. Just me sending out offers and editing listings. So enjoy the music and try to keep up.